Hey guys, it's me again, and today, sort of following up with similar themes about, um, about, you know, disability struggles and stuff like that, I wanted to talk about the barriers to having disabled people actually organize in in their communities to like change for like change and stuff like that um and honestly num the number one reason really is transportation issues i don't hold anything against online organizing obviously i think it's a great tool right but nothing will ever compare to like an actual mass of people being in a place um you know um at a specific time protesting and stuff nothing will ever be that same nothing will ever you know come close to assemblies like that just because number one people see you and number two um it's you know again there's just something about physical presence that's that's um different I don't really know how to describe it but you have on a screen you have you know you don't see someone's face you don't hear their voice it's not social in the same way as you know being in person and so um i feel like that's the biggest barrier because for most of us i know disability is broad and stuff like that um but for most of us even just you know getting out is hard especially in old cities that i know i know it's already was done once with the before the passage of the americans with disabilities act there was a like a disabled basically march on washington where you know I think one of the only famous thing that famous things that people remember is the little girl with cerebral palsy. What I have, um, climbing the stairs of the Capitol, um, literally crawling, bros, and um, you know, um, I'm not saying it's not possible, but like. Notice how how most of changes to the disabled experience and laws in the U.S. started in cities. They didn't start like in suburbia, bro, because suburbia, people can't generally organize there. And yes, it's somewhat accessible but not to the level because the one thing is not accessibility necessarily but transportation and you know america is a car first nation um and bro if you're dinky little um, semi-rural city uh, doesn't have good transportation and you live in its suburb, bro, you're screwed. Even if you, if you have a disability or not, but even then, able-bodied people still organize. Like in my, um, small little city, there's still pride, there's still... I think one time they protested immigration policies. So, 
but it's not like say New York or or um or DC or Boston where like it's not gonna be super duper easy but at least bro metro in in freaking Montgomery County that's the rich white county now of course they're gonna they're gonna have uh, good transportation brothers and sisters but yeah that's probably the number one thing um transportation um and yeah dude yeah um i well what else can i say um because it's that's a, a thing where the social model of disability really breaks down because you know even if even with accessibility even with transportation you know i don't think we could organize as effectively as the able body just due to the nature of our conditions whether physical or mental because even mental disabilities have a physical impact usually not always but usually so um yeah bros what what else can i say i've said this in tons of videos before but you know support based based public transportation please bro please <laughs> um in in the United States cuz disabled people aren't going to overcome without it all right bye